Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Megan Payton alongside Andy Lang and Marco D'Angelo of wagertalk.com. Let's talk week six, Baltimore Ravens at New York Giants. Ravens, a five and a half point favorite, the total at 45. Marco, I'll start with you. The Giants are four and one right now. I feel like we're disrespecting New York just a little bit by a five and a half point Ravens favorite. The Giants are home here. The Ravens did finally bounce back after a terrible loss in week four. How do you go about handicapping a game that I believe could be a little bit closer than we expect? Yeah, Megan, uh, you're, this line is priced based on the old Giants and the old Ravens. It's not the same two teams. The Ravens' defense, and that's always been their stellar part of their team for decades, now, right now, is the 26th ranked defense at uh, yards per play. 6.2 yards per play they're giving up. The football giants, they're playing well right now, and they're running the football. That's been the key to their success. Uh, you've got two games ago against the Bears, 262 yards. Last week, only 125 yards, but they did have to abandon the running game partly because they fell behind early in that game in London and had to play catch-up. In catch-up, they did. They pulled the upset over the Green Bay Packers. I'm taking the Giants here, not only because they're getting too many points, in my opinion, against the poor defense, but look at the spot you find Baltimore in. They're coming off a Sunday night football game against division rival Cincinnati, the team that everybody figured to win the division after going to the Super Bowl last year. And next week, they have another division game against the Cleveland Browns. Great sandwich spot to take the home dog. I'm on the Giants. The Ravens' pass defense last in the league in terms of yards allowed. And not to mention, as you said, Giants getting their run game going. Saquon Barkley, Giants second in the league as, to, as far as rushing yards. Andy, what player props are we looking at for Ravens versus Giants? Well, it's a little bit obscure, but he keeps cashing, and I'm going to go with Graham Gano, kicker for the New York Giants, over six and a half points. The Ravens, they give up over six and a half points to kickers per game, and opposing kickers have gone over this total in two out of three games. And Graham Gano is on an absolute tear. If you own him in fantasy leagues, you're well aware of this. The last three weeks, he scored 13, 10, 8, and nine points. What's crazy about Gano is he doesn't have a field goal attempt from less than 30 yards, and he's 4 of 4 from 50-plus yards. So he's been great from long range. Right now, the weather looks to be very clear, very calm. There's no wind. There's no rain in the forecast. And this streak of him not having any attempts from 30 yards or less, I just don't think it's going to continue. It's not sustainable. And uh, Marco did a great job laying out how the Ravens' defense is not what it used to be. I think the Giants are going to be able to move the ball here. And I don't expect a blowout from Baltimore. So I expect the Giants to take the points once they get inside the 40-yard line. Look for Graham Gano to have another good game. I'm going to take him over six and a half points. The three and two Ravens head to New York to take on the four and one Giants. Who thought that that would be something we'd be saying? Four and one Giants. Great stuff from Andy and Marco. Always appreciate all of your knowledge and insight. You can find more of them on wagertalk.com. Make sure you go and give them a follow on Twitter. That is at Bump Sports for Andy and at Marco in Vegas for Marco. Thank you guys. And make sure you join us again for next week, NFL Week 7.